Uh, my name is Jake Rojas. I grew up in El Paso, Texas. Growing up in El Paso, you know, you're, you're, you're known as a border kid uh, from the minute you're born there. And uh, so, you know, growing up on the border, it was, uh, it was kill or be killed in some ways. Um, and uh, you grew up quick. I think the one meal that sums up my childhood is a stack of corn tortillas, um, some nice pinto beans, and a Spanish rice. The one meal that sums up El Paso is the Chico's Tacos, uh, Taco Dorados, which is a, a rolled taco rather than a, a regular, uh, you know, corn tortilla style taco. Um, and then it's smothered in a, in a red tomato juice with uh, government cheese over the top. I think the perfect taco is a, uh, a homemade corn tortilla with land-raised corn, heirloom corn, um, carnitas, which is braised pork uh, in its own fat, um, salsa, onion cilantro, and a little bit of avocado. The world of food found me, um, actually. You know, I, was, I realized early that I wasn't going to be a, a, a pro quarterback, and I wasn't going to uh, uh, you know, be in construction, which those are two things I kind of wanted to do, was be a builder. Um, so when, uh, when food found me, um, it was the one thing that allowed me to be as creative as I could with my hands um, as I nourished other people. I think food should be uh, family oriented and not pretentious. Um, unfortunately, and fortunately in a lot of ways, uh, I was raised up in a, uh, in a world of food um, that was focused on hitting the mark every time and not so much about feeding its community.
Toulon Thames, it was a restaurant uh, that was a, a dream of my wife and I's. Uh, it was a 35 seat uh, restaurant that served locally sourced seasonal food. Um, that's, that meant a lot to us. Owning your own business, small business or large business, restaurant or not, um, I think it takes devotion. Um, for, uh, and if you're not willing to give it, um, success is hard. I burned out like a wandering ember. I shone bright in my journey. I think the hardest thing about owning my own restaurant um, was being able to juggle um, running a business and keeping the business, the restaurant, pushing forward from a creative perspective. Closing our restaurant, Tool on Thames, in 2017 was one of the hardest things we've ever done um, because it was it was it was like a, our firstborn child. Um, you know, we had given so much to it emotionally, physically, mentally, and uh, it was just, it was time for us to move on to something else, and Tallulah's Taqueria was the perfect path. In 2012, we decided that we were going to pursue tacos via a mobile food cart. Um, that mobile food cart took off um, and gained praise pretty quickly and we are very fortunate for that. Um, so in 2014 we decided we need a brick and mortar space so we opened up in the Fox Point neighborhood on the east side of Providence. Tacos have been in my blood from day one. I grew up eating tacos on the corner, I grew up eating tacos off a taco truck, I grew up eating tacos at home, I grew up eating tacos out to, to dinner at a, at a fine dining restaurant per se. Um, so tacos have always been a part of my makeup and they always will be. Just pretend I want to stay like this forever I want to stay right here with you I want to stay right here with you As the rest we fall Until it all breaks down But I need it so I will stay around When you're all messed up It's a great relief to be understood It's a shame Still waters run deep So let us walk right into the forest To the trees and the rising sun It is something we can't outrun I do whatever it takes to hold you Whatever it takes to you Wanna be in this game for two Yeah, so I grew up in a car family. Um, my my dad was a car guy. My uncles were a car were car guys. Um, I've always been around cars as a kid. Volkswagens in general, uh, air cooled type ones, um, and type twos and threes. But uh, ever since you know growing up, I've always just been uh, around cars. And in my travels, 
I kind of left cars for a while as I pursued a career in, uh, in high-end fine dining. And when I was able to kind of get back established and live in one place and knew I was going to be there for a while, I had to get back in the, in, back in the car game. You know, we, we have a fairly large staff for being a small, fast, casual restaurant, um, but our staff is our team. It's our family. We treat them as if they were our family. That's number one. Our team is number one, um, and they always have been, and they will always be. Um, without them, we aren't able to do the things that we do because we are just two people, Kel and I. My wife, Kellyanne. She's been a godsend. She's uh, also the person that keeps not only our business in line, but also keeps our family together. Um, and without her, this would never be possible. Yeah, my name is Kellyanne Rojas, and I am a restaurateur, a mother, and a wife. Oh, goodness, I met Jake Rojas in 2008 in Malibu, California. <laughs> um, it is amazing, challenging to work with Jake Rojas. He is a perfectionist uh, at everything he does in life. And he's a perfectionist to the point of he can get in his own way because he's such a perfectionist, but he delivers perfection in anything he touches. So working with Jake is, if you're on the B team, you eventually become on the A team. <laughs>
my favorite thing about working with Jake is we kind of have this balance, pretty much the only balance we have in our life of I can do one thing in this business and he does the other and we don't have to talk about it. It just works. And it's been like that since before we were even together because he came in as the chef in this California restaurant and I was the director of events. And we could just handle everything from restaurant operations to banquets to private dinners. And we rarely spoke, but I delivered my end and he delivered his and it was seamless. Ha, ah, we balance family and work life. Depends on the day, hour, minute. Some days we're completely failing. Because what is balance? You know, it's so hard. And especially when you're striving for to be the best at each thing you do. So our balance depends on the day, depends on the minute, depends on the hour. Uh, some weeks we fail and some weeks we're like, okay, check. Tallulah's Taqueria was first started truly. He called me and we needed something else. We needed more revenue because our diva restaurant in Newport, that's what we called her, our true first child. Truly Jake's true passion mixed with experience, mixed with the highest level of his talent, which is more of Michelin star type of food, which he should have stayed in a big city instead of following me back to Rhode Island. And so to lose talk career, we needed more, uh, more of an income. And uh, we were thinking about all the different ways to uh, bring that into our little diva. And he found a hot dog cart in Newport at a gym when he was working out. And he called me and he said, let's purchase this hot dog cart, but we'll do tacos. Cause when I grew up in El Paso, we eat tacos. And I said, okay, Rhode Island, chicken fingers and hamburgers. Okay, yeah, all right, let's do that. And so we started the tacos truly on these little carts at farmer's markets. And it just grew and grew and grew. And to the point we realized, okay, let's try to create a storefront. And that's what we did. Oh goodness, <laughs> what I'd like to say to Jake is he knows that I, first and foremost with regards to, I'm grateful. I'm grateful. Jake Rojas has taught me so much about personal work. Um, obviously we have a beautiful family together, uh, partnership uh, in both in both being a couple as well as um, being business partners in this crazy business that's not the easiest. You know, it's um, it can look all perfect on the outside. It's not, <laughs> it's hard. Um, um, I'm grateful. I'm grateful that Jake Rojas is in my life. Um, and I'm grateful that Jake Rojas will be in my life um, forever with what we've built. And uh, I hope he feels the same way. <laughs> and um, we have our good days. We have our very, very bad days. Some of our past employees can check mark to that. Um, we argue fiercely and we have very strong personalities. Uh, we also have compassion and empathy for each other. And um, we just work well together. And on some days we work well in every capacity and on some days it might be only 10% capacity, but it's what life is, it's what life throws at us. But with regards to being even a witness to someone that is extremely talented and not only talented because of he earned it and he worked really hard to, to have it, it's kind of like some chefs worked really hard to have what they have. However, they're missing maybe that touch of flavor. You know, there's some chefs in these wonderful restaurants that have all this technique. They don't know how to put just a regular spaghetti and meatballs together that tastes amazing. Jake Rojas, when he was born, was just 
you know? People ask in the restaurants, well, what are you doing? I'm like, oh, I just, you know, just clean up, which <laughs> I don't, but, but I always tell people, whoever he is to me, husband, partner, father of my children, he is so talented, one of the most talented chefs. And I'm not saying that because he's taking me to all these other restaurants where all his friends are at still in the major cities. And Jake Rojas can make anything taste good. He understands the balance of flavor. My family now consists of a, of a large group of people that are all uh, pushing forward within our restaurants. Um, and then I have two beautiful children, Cortez and uh, Gracie. Um, I've got a seven-year-old golden retriever and six chickens. Ingredients have always been the focal point of what we do. Um, we have progressively moved away from being a seasonal restaurant like Toulon Thames was to a restaurant that focuses on being able to feed more people more often and more focus on the community. You know, the style of cooking that we do is, is methodical. Everything has a reason, everything has a standardized recipe. Um, I want the restaurant to be as consistent as possible. Therefore, we measure in grams, we, we try to cook in Celsius. We do these things that allow us to have um, a very uh, simplistic way of operating on the back end. I think if I had to pick three ingredients to cook for the rest of my life, or to cook with for the rest of my life. Um, butter's definitely one of them. Uh, always, always butter in everything we do. Um, and more butter, and then I think more butter. I think the two things that, uh, that have a common bond with food and with cars is, is the idea is that you can make it yours. Um, it's no one else's, it's yours. It's your creative, uh, you know, goal at the end of the day of what you want the car um, to be and what your personality is with the car or the food. I think the big goal uh, for myself, my family, and, and our business is, is to continue to grow Tulu's Taqueria, continue to grow our family, um, and to hopefully give more people the opportunities um, to grow with us. Gosh, every day is, uh, when it comes to what's next uh, for, for a car in, in, in my garage, I mean, you know, the ultimate goal is a, is a Porsche Coupe. Um, that's, that's the goal, of course, slammed always, uh, so yeah.
Oh, the Yelp guy? The Yelp guy. Ryan P. Man, if I saw him right now, he'd be missing a few teeth. No. Uh, Ryan P. Ryan P., all he did was fuel the fire for us wanting to be better than the previous day. Mm -hmm.